Keeping your text messages protected from hackers and eavesdroppers has become a major issue. The government says it occasionally needs access to some of these messages to investigate criminals and terrorists. But tech companies see that as a potential violation of privacy. Your text messages are protected using what's called end-to-end -end encryption. This encryption happens whenever you send a secure text message from your smartphone. Here's how end-to-end -end encryption works to keep your data private while in transit. Your phone has two unique keys that encrypt and decrypt messages. These are called public and private keys. Your public key is shared with other people and it's used as part of the encryption protocol. Your private key is only on your device and is never shared. When two people want to securely chat, they use a combination of public and private keys to create a temporary shared key. Let's look at how this works. Alice sends Bob a message which simultaneously causes an exchange of public keys. Both Bob and Alice use the other person's public key combined with their own private key to create a temporary shared key. They then use this shared key to encrypt messages to each other, and their public keys are used to confirm that those shared keys are authentic. The shared keys are being erased and regenerated constantly, which ensures that Bob and Alice's conversation cannot be decrypted in the future. An eavesdropper could see that Alice and Bob exchanged messages, but because the eavesdropper doesn't have Alice or Bob's shared key, these messages can't be decrypted. Some people believe that tech and telecom companies should provide what's called backdoor access to these encrypted messages. There are two types of backdoors. The first type is a list of private keys that would allow the company access to encrypted messages so they could deliver these messages to an agency such as the FBI. There are two problems with this method. One, if this list is hacked or compromised, every person's private key is up for grabs. Two, if this system is abused, you, the user, would have no idea that someone is accessing your data. The second type of backdoor is for tech companies to deliberately build a weakness or flaw into the encryption formula that would allow law enforcement to access the messages on a case-by-case -case basis. The problem with this method is that hackers might eventually find a way to exploit those weaknesses too. At the core of this whole debate is the very thorny issue of personal privacy versus national security. It's one that society, tech companies, and the government are still trying to decrypt.